Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Frederick Olmsted Lodge for the unveiling of this year's Lilac Festival poster. I am so glad to be here with all of you in person. Yet again, actually, the year goes by fast. I remember being here last year like it was yesterday uh, doing the poster. But let me tell you something. The weather is turning, believe it or not. Uh, the trees and the flowers are on the verge of blooming, and that means it is time once again for the Lilac Festival. We're now just a month away from that first weekend. This year is poised to be better than ever because we are back as we come through on the other side of this pandemic. We've weathered what I believe is the worst of what COVID has thrown at us so far. We're back to gathering in person again, parties, festivals, fairs, so much more. And we're celebrating Monroe County's bicentennial. And our theme this year is celebrate more. And that's exactly what we plan to do at the Lilac Festival. What better way to celebrate more than three weekends of live music, food, arts, and so much more at the festival next month. This festival is the perfect display of the vibrant art and culture here in Rochester and Monroe County. And the best part is that admission is also free. Jeff Springer and his team has already announced a top-notch lineup of live music that's in addition to the other events and the fun that the festival has to offer. I encourage all families to come down and check out this year's uh, Lilac Festival because we all need a little bit of outdoor fun after this long winter. Monroe County is a proud supporter of the festival and all that it does to enrich our region and to draw tens of thousands of people here to the beautiful Highland Park. I can't wait to see the reveal of this year's poster. So let's move on. We have a number of speakers uh, who are here today that are gonna speak and talk a little bit more uh, about the festival. What I really love about this though too, I gotta tell you, every time we do these announcements, whether it's the Lilac Festival, it's the Jazz Festival, it's all these things, everything is coming back this year, bigger and better than it's been in the past. The music lineup that Jeff announced just, uh, uh, just a few weeks ago was incredible. The music lineup for the Jazz Festival is incredible. And I th you just have this sense around the community that people are ready to go. The people are geared up, they're really ready to celebrate more, and I am really ready to celebrate our parks. So I'm gonna introduce um, our director of uh, Monroe County Parks, Meredith Patrick and his team, ensure that each of our 22 parks, as well as the flowers and trees and the green spaces and all that we have to, to, to provide this public are thriving. They're essential to making sure that the famed lilac trees here at Highland Park are at their best when it's time for the festival. Patrick guaranteed me they will be at their best and that we will be in bloom for the lilac festival. So we're so grateful for the hard work and the dedication of all the men and women in our parks department who've been working really overtime in the last year, especially as we've been making all these new investments um, to rehab and, 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 uh, and make sure our parks are top notch. Um, they've just been working so incredibly hard. So with that, here's our parks director, Pat Meredith. Thank you, County Executive Adam Bello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Olmstead Lodge. People continue to look forward every year to the blooming of our world-famous collection of lilacs. We are so lucky to have Highland Park in our backyard, famous for growing the largest collection of lilacs in North America. The blooms offer the perfect backdrop for this annual event catered to all ages. This year, we are returning to normalcy once again, and the Rochester Lilac Festival will be offering new and longtime beloved events and vendors. I'd like to take a moment to recognize some of the people and companies involved in the production of this event. First, the Rochester Lilac Festival Board of Directors. They provide important oversight of the festival for the city, county, and visit Rochester. The Rochester Lilac Festival is a partnership between Monroe County and Monroe County Parks, the City of Rochester, and our Visitors Bureau, Visit Rochester and Rochester Events. I also want to thank the men and women on the park staff that maintain the lilacs, trees, and other plantings in the park all year long in conjunction with a number of volunteer groups. Without them, we would not have this awesome beauty to celebrate, so thank you. And next, it's my pleasure to introduce Barbara Pierce, City of Rochester Director of Communications and Special Events. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, spring is definitely in the air, and I noticed I'm not the only woman who's broken out the open-toed shoes. So it is the season. I don't care what the temperature says. If there's no snow, 
My toes are out, so I am enjoying it. I wanted to take a moment to thank our partners. Um, all of us on Mayor Evans' team are truly honored to work really side by side, hand in, in glove with others to help make our community great. So thank you to County Executive Bellow and the entire Monroe County team, Don Jeffries and the Visit Rochester crew, and of course to Jeff Springett uh, for your vision, connections, and coordination of what's going to be another fantastic event, at, uh, which we'll all celebrate more. Um, so I'm proud to have the, oppor the opportunity today to represent the city. My team, thank you to Joe, Carly, and Kara, they make magic happen and they help pull together significant resources and support from our city. Our city colleagues in special events, the Department of Environmental Services and the Rochester Police Department, they provide everything from garbage pickup to street sweeping, barricades and fencing to equipment and increased security for this free event. It's a perfect example of a public-private partnership with a focus on pulling off a phenomenal Lila Festival. And in the spirit of bringing more and celebrating more, I am excited to announce a special collaboration concert this year between musicians of the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra and the Rochester City School District. The concert, led by RPO trumpeter Herb Smith, will be held on the opening day of the festival on Friday, May 6th at 12 noon. We're thrilled that Herb is bringing his commitment to connecting students to music to the Lilac Festival this year. He'll be leading jazz bands from local schools, including the World of Inquiry and School of the Arts, in a side-by-side -side concert that will incorporate jazz, funk, rock, gospel, and more. It'll be an amazing way to kick off the first day of the festival, and I hope to see you all there. And so with that, I'd like to turn the mic over to Rachel Polvino, Visit Rochester's Director of Market Communications and Special Relations, or Public Relations. Rachel. Good morning, everyone. I'm thrilled to be here today representing Visit Rochester, which is the official tourism promotion agency for Monroe County. Uh, thank you so much, County Executive Bellow, and thank you to the hardworking staff of the Monroe County Parks Department for all that you do to keep our parks well maintained and among some of the best in the country all year round. Thank you also to the City of Rochester and the Mayor, uh, Mayor Evans and his administration for their partnership in producing this world-class event. And of course, thank you to Jeff Springett and your team at Rochester Events for bringing the Lilac Festival to life. So the Rochester Lilac Festival is one of the premier events of its kind in the country, and as has been shared, it celebrates the blooming of the largest collection of lilacs in North America, right here in Highland Park. So exciting. So the upcoming Rochester Lilac Festival will serve as the official start to our spring and summer festival season. This is a time of celebration and gathering that so many of us, so many of us have missed over the past two years. And as we continue to recognize the Monroe County Bicentennial and the start of the Lilac Festival, we will indeed be celebrating more. More festivals, more fun, more food, more friends, um, and more family time together. And of course, more flowers. So with the start of the spring and summer tourism season, I wanted to remind Rochesterians to use events like the Rochester Lilac Festival as the perfect opportunity to invite your friends and family to come visit Rochester. Bringing visitors to Rochester and Monroe County is critical in helping the overall economic impact of tourism here in Monroe County. Prior to the pandemic, the economic impact of tourism in Monroe County alone was over $1 billion and was responsible for 20,000 jobs. Now, as we continue to recover as a community, that number is on the rise, but we can all do our part to bring more visitors to Monroe County and to use events like the festival as a perfect opportunity to showcase the very best of what Rochester and Monroe County has to offer. Um, and so uh, with that, uh, please continue to spread the word. There are limitless reasons to visit Rochester and Monroe County this spring and summer. And I'm thrilled to introduce Jeff Springett, the uh, magic maker of the Rochester Lilac Festival with Rochester Events to tell us all that's planned for this year. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. You're very kind. I'm not sure if the magic is the right word, but we we like to cause a little trouble every now and then. I'd like to thank all the speakers previously uh, for their support and my sincere thanks to all of our sponsors. Please take a minute uh, before, during, and after uh, this event to uh, take note of them and support them. We are extremely grateful for their support, which directly translates our ability to bring exciting entertainment and special activities to the festival. 
uh, of special note here in the audience today. I want to give a little shout out to Amanda and Cole from uh, Rentals to Go, Dan from Angel Angels in Our Home, uh, Maria, of course, my old friend, my dear friend from Bryant and Stratton College, uh, Joe from Abbott's, uh, Dan from Casa Larga Wines, Ryan from Green Spark, Solo, uh, Green Spark Solar, and of course, our dear friend, without whom we couldn't put this festival on, Uncle Phil. Yeah. So let's give a hand to Uncle Phil. We won't miss him. Uh, I'd also like to say a special thanks to my team, Jenny, Lexi, Connor, Carrie, uh, and the rest of the staff who couldn't be here today, and of course my wife, Lynn, uh, who was kind enough to put up with all my festival uh, planning and, uh, and as a great asset to our company and, and definitely in the background. So there's lots of reasons, as Adam and uh, Barbara and Rachel were saying, uh, to celebrate the 22, 2022 Roster Lilac Festival. I'm just going to give you a quick once over so we can keep going and get to the, the matter at hand here. But opening day, Friday, May 6th, as Barbara just was talking about, lunch with the RPO as they present a special collaboration with the Rochester City School District kids. Uh, it's a great way to spend opening day lunch hour. Saturday, of course, is parade day. Ed Schramm, who couldn't be here today, puts on an amazing parade. There's over 125 units in the parade. There's over 2,500 people participating in the parade. Ed says, make sure I get the parking for his buses. He needs buses for the bands that are coming just for the parade. I said, how many spaces do you need? He said, about 20 or 25 buses will be coming to bring people who are participating in the parade. And of course, uh, this year there's going to be a special section in the parade uh, commemorating Monroe County's 200th anniversary. Now, you're going to hear it first right now. We have a grand marshal this year for the parade. Uh, and we're thrilled to announce that Pittsburgh native and Olympic gold medalist Chris Lillis will be our Grand Marshal this year. So that's a real treat. Chris couldn't be here today because he's out in Park City practicing his skiing. Uh, and I, as, you're sure, as I'm sure you know, Chris recently secured the gold medal in mixed team aerials at this past Winter Olympics in Beijing. And if you ever see what Chris does in the air, it's without question, death-defying. Uh, he's up there twirling, and he's up going 90 miles an hour in the air and lands on his feet like it was a piece of cake. So it would be nice for me, at least, to meet Chris, and he'll be signing autographs after the parade. Uh, Saturday's celebration continues with our wine tasting event with over 25 wineries, and this year the wine tasting falls on Kentucky Derby Day. So we'll be showing the, the Derby in the tent and we'll be having our own Kentucky Derby uh, contest for the best dressed and, of course, the best hat. So we encourage everybody to get into the spirit of the day, enjoy a little wine, taste our 25-plus wineries, and uh, enjoy the Derby. And, of course, the first weekend is Mother's Day, which is always a big day at the park. But really, with so much to do, it's really a Mother's Day weekend at the Lilac Festival. And to crown it all off is the Art in the Park Art Show, which takes place right here out in front of us on Reservoir Avenue, uh, again, just that first weekend this year. Weekend number two is our Health and Wellness Weekend, presented by Evans Bank. Now, we thought this year we could all use a little limbering up and some exercise based on the fact that we've all been kind of cooped up for the past two and a half years. So we've organized eight of the local gyms to actually conduct exercise classes and programs, not only for those people who are more experienced, let's say, in the exercise world, but for those people who are thinking, geez, I could use to get out and stretch out a little bit. So they've put together programs to, to uh, attract uh, everybody from teenagers to seniors. So if you haven't done a lot of exercise, you can dip your toe in the in the grass, so to speak, and, and check out and see what's going on. So we have eight area gyms. You can read more about that on our website, rochestervents.com. Uh, and after you do your exercise, we have a health and wellness expo in our special events tent that is sponsored by Greater Rock. And 
there'll be over 40 vendors who, whose businesses deal with health and wellness, physical and mental health and wellness for all ages. It's going to be a very interesting uh, variety of people, and of course the special events that that day will be free to get into for the expo. Weekend number three is our very well-regarded uh, Craft Beer Expo on Saturday the 21st with over 45 breweries and distilleries. And new this year is the People's Choice Award for the most fun beers to drink. We got away from the, the very critical uh, and structured uh, beer awards where they have the best pilsners and the best stouts and the best porters. We're just judging them on the most fun to drink. And we have a special tasting uh, a week before on Friday the 13th with some beer drinking experts in our community who will be doing a live tasting with all the breweries who uh, are participating who want to participate in the contest. There's more about that coming for you. Uh, on Sunday the 22nd, we say, oh, I left out a very important thing. On the Brewfest, we just say we're just brewing around. So that's a little joke in the office, and that's what we do. Uh, on Sunday the 22nd, we close out our special events programs with the longest running 5K and 10K in the area, the Lilac 5K and 10K races, and of course the Donut Dash. And I think we've already got almost 200 people signed up for the Donut Dash. And that's a, a special thing we did for children and their families. They start at the Purple Crosswalk, and they run down to uh, uh, Goodman Street, where Duncan gives out uh, munch, munchkins, a box of munchkins, if it's safe to do that, and then they run back to the Purple Crosswalk. It's a mile round trip, and we have we started three three years ago, and uh, I think we started the first year with 35 people, and now we're over 200 kids and their families, people in strollers. It's a real family affair, so we encourage people to take advantage and take part in that. So these events, plus what I've been told from objective music listeners, is the most awesome musical lineup in the history of the Lilac Festival. Not my words, but somebody else. All the great food. And I want to welcome uh, a few of our uh, sponsors that are here today. The great food comes from Zweigel's Hots this year, Abbott's Custard, who's here. Uh, other sponsors who were able to come today, Andrea and Cole from Rentals to Go, Don from Angels in Your Home, uh, Maria from Bryant and Stratton, Joe from Abbott's, Dan from Casa Larga Wines, uh, Ryan from Green Space Solar, and of course, Uncle Phil. Uh, so all of that together with the great food, and of course, the, the real stars of the festival, as Rachel mentioned, are the lilacs will give us great cause to celebrate more in Rochester and Monroe County this year. And now, please help me welcome Diane Elmsey, who is our poster artist for this year. And if I can get uh, County Executive uh, Adam Bello and Barbara uh, from the city, and uh, maybe Pat, why don't you come up and be a part of this? We can help unveil the poster. And uh, I can only say while everybody's coming up for more information on all the celebrations, Visit rochestereventscom All the information is there. Are you ready? Let's get together for a photo op here. I'll come on to this side. Right here. Okay. Ready? Everyone for coming, please grab a bottle of the Casa Larga Lilac Hill wine. Compliments of Casa Larga on your way out. And a poster, and you'll notice the poster is on the bottle as tradition holds for each year. And if anybody has any questions, Diane wants to say a couple of words about how she created the poster. Absolutely, please. Thank you, Thank you.
I'd just like to thank the Springit group for asking me to join this This is my third lecture. I hope that visitors to Highland Park will be overwhelmed by the variety of fragrant blossoms and have good weather for the many festival events. Again, thanks for this opportunity, and I hope everyone will enjoy this artwork as much as I enjoyed creating it. Thank you very much, Diane, and uh, thank you all for coming. That concludes the, uh, the formal press conference, as it were, and uh, we'll, whoever you want to talk to will be around for any Q&A.